It's gotcha day! I am ready. I've got my magenta on. We are watching Common Rider Gotcha episode one. I hate when the channel just is a bunch of reactions in a row, but like it's been kind of a big month for like previews of Tokusatsu and Geet's ending and this. So we are watching Common Rider Gotcha episode one today. You'll get my full reaction. I'll get my thoughts at the end. I haven't seen it yet. I just woke up, downloaded it, and decided, hey, let's do it here. But if you don't want to download it, it's up on um, YouTube for free right now. I don't know if they're going to do that with just episode one or like episodes going forward, but the auto translate I've heard kind of works on it. It just doesn't translate some words. So if you want to watch it that way, you can watch it that way. If not, you know, the normal places. I have a video for that if you want to know how and where to watch Common Rider. Um, but yeah, without further ado, let's get to it. There's my driver that's not here yet. Oh, they talk weird. I do think those veils are super sick though. All right, the CG is not terrible. I like that you can summon the Kemi cards like right from them. That's pretty cool. All of them are ready. That was cool. I hope they don't stay in that realm for very long in this whole show because everyone knows how like King Ogier's uh, going. This is already giving me like Neo Heisei vibes, like early Neo Heisei vibes. <laughs> Always got to cover up the dad's face. We haven't cast him yet, but it'll be important later. She was about to give away the whole alchemy club right away. And he's like, stop. I get it. There's no way she didn't hear him running up on him like that. Come on. <laughs> I like the idea of everywhere Steamliner goes. It's just Steamliner. Don't fall in love with Hopper One, please. I really like those outfits. That's sick. Oh, boy just got Isekai'd. Oh, it ate him. Ouroboros realm, I get it. <laughs> That's a whole ass Nintendo Switch. It's so big. That's cool, it's showing them how to henshin. I kind of like that. Love that they're just the PNGs for some of them flying around. Other ones get these cool 3D models. Oh, that's so dope. She uses it as armor? That's badass. Ooh, I like this. Oh, I don't like this part. Ugh, bleh. Let's go. That's a cool henshin. Just beautiful shiny suit. And then the theme song kicks in. What is this camera shot? Why is it so compressed? Sick. I hope they do more shots like that. The suit looks so good like that. No, a sick ass rider kick too. How did he find him just not at school or anything? That is the most shocker looking symbol I've seen in all of Rewa. <laughs> Let's start with the goods first. The goods, um, the theme song, the OP, Kemi Story. I heard it uh, the morning, yesterday morning when in, before the show came out. And I think it's like the coolest, most anime bop OP we've ever gotten for Kamen Rider. And I really like it. It feels so like, it just feels like you should be at that opening part, you should be going across the ocean, and then it goes up to the sky, and there's our heroes. That's how the OP makes me feel. It's just, it's just a really good way to start an episode. Um, other good things. I really like the henshin. The henshin, I think, is super sick. Um, it has a lot more parts than, say, like, Saber's henshin, which was also a stock footage behind there. Revice did a different kind of henshin for the first episode, so I wonder if this will also change as it goes on. I'm also excited to see what the flash engine looks like. Um, all the moves in the suit. The suit is beautiful. I'd probably put it in B tier for me if I'm ranking it on the tier list. Um, just because I don't think... I think it... Like, the helmet is great. I think the helmet is top tier. But I think the things after the scarf just kind of weirdly get lost. And then as the forms go on and as we see them, things will kind of get lost there. But I really like the suit. Um, B tier, high B tier for me. The, the shots that they use to show off the suit, I think, are really good. Um, the, the, the darkness, when he's in the darkness and the sparks are flying off, that's just, uh, so good. Um, the, the hoppers, the, the hoppers, the chemis. I think the chemis look great. The CG for the chemis looked far better than I thought they would. You could tell that they spent a lot of time and care and money on the Kemi CGs because those will be used a lot throughout the season. Uh, the scene where the Kemis are rampaging, I thought was super cool. Felt different. Like I said, felt at the beginning, very early Neo Heisei. You got your double through your O's, your, your fours A even. Felt like that, um, which I think sets a good tone. 
it's like a very much back to basics tone, which we knew was gonna happen this season anyways. Um, I think they did it the right way here. I love that the first episode didn't try to throw in a ton of cast. We've got four characters, basically. We've got Hotoro, Kudo, uh, Hotoro's friend, and Minoto, the teacher. I thought that was really good compared to the past couple seasons when we get like eight people, nine people right from the jump. I'm totally okay with having a smaller cast right now and building it out slowly. On top of that, you have the evil trio, the sisters. I thought they were great. I think the costumes are just far and away like one of the coolest costumes we've gotten in Kamen Rider for a for a, like a human civilian. Thought those were great. The guy who gave him the driver, I know his backstory in terms of like what we know from uh, like character bios and stuff kind of undercooked here and I hope we get to see more of him later even though I know he like dis disintegrated from the the attack I thought he he could have more to do and I hope he does uh, I liked what I saw of him here but kind of undercooked in terms of like what he was doing as a character and all that stuff he was literally just there to give the driver and peace out and the other thing i didn't think i'd buy into as much which i was totally on board for here is the alchemy stuff the turning the rocks falling into like paper planes and stuff i loved even uh kudo trying to fight the kemi the steam liner as it was coming and she turned the leaves and made him go forward and everything i thought the cg on that stuff was great i thought the battling the kemis that way super unique super cool something we haven't seen in common rider done very much um and i'm excited to see because those rings let anybody really join the fight you aren't going to have a lot of characters sitting on the sides but you aren't going to have a ton of riders either you're going to have um gotchard with Kudo probably there and probably one other person as support with these rings doing things saving civilians from falling rocks and all that stuff and I think that's a really cool wrinkle to add in because like last year everyone was a rider and I'm really happy that this year we don't need that but it's nice to see them be able to still support and be able to still do something in the fight and on that note let's go to the cons because I don't love the representation of magic here what I mean is like I, I we see so much magic and media like the doctor strange circles and everything or like full metal alchemist style that having your magic uh kind of like like showing you that magic is about to happen just being a black screen with some writing on it is like so underwhelming to me and i hope it changes in the future i hope it's different i don't need like the words all up on the screen and everything i just need I don't know, lines, like I get you're trying to show magic or alchemy in a different way than is seen in current media or a way that it can be done very simply for 50 episodes or 50-ish episodes that doesn't need to be CG'd over everything. But like the black screen with the writing and the, it's just not it. It's just, it's just so underwhelming and boring for something that should be so wonderful and fantastical. Speaking of underwhelming and boring, uh, the background for the Ouroboros realm. Like what I, we, I thought we were learning our lesson with King Oger that like this gets old very fast. Uh, the all CG background type of thing. And the Ouroboros realm looks worse than anything we've seen in King Oger. It was good for that beginning shot. You could have left it there, but then they did it again with uh, when he comes back to get the driver and it's just it's just it's just bad I hope we don't go back there but I can see us going back there a lot because they've spent enough time on that background with the with the beaker bottles and everything coming down that like I'm not excited to be shown stuff there like do it all here do it all on practical sets or even just I, I do it in some flashback type of thing uh, I don't want to see the Oros Boros realm again. Another good thing I forgot that I'm gonna throw in here is I really like that he was being shown how to do these things, like whether through the driver or through some th some magic stuff, he was being shown like, hey, this is how you henchin, hey, this is how you put the cards in, hey, this is how you turn into uh, not the wild form, this is how you turn into the base form and all that stuff. And I thought that was really cool. I love that they weren't coordinated when they try to spin out of the way of the girl that's attacking them. They bump into each other and fall down. And I just love a rider that has to learn things. I'm not I don't love riders that like already know everything. Ace was one thing last year, uh, and but we had Kawa and Neon that were just learning as they go, and I thought that's really cool. And I love that now we have the main rider that's like at the bottom of the totem pole and has to learn things as he go as he goes again. And the last thing I'm gonna have to be sold on, and I and I hate to do this because it's kind of like going further than the first episode. I need there to only be. 101 chemis maybe 105 chemis but like 
I need them to stick to that number because they just it's 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 something I go back to in Ghost all the time when he has to collect the icons and he has a certain amount of days and those days run out and they're like, oh, psych, you have another certain amount of days. And it's just like, why do we do this? Why do we set ourselves these limits to live in and then tell us later that they actually don't matter? Um, and I hope the 101 Kemi limit stays as it is because they have 101 Kemis and they've had them since 120 years ago is what we're told at the very end. So I hope it stays like that. And these are established that these are like these beings that that are they there can only be 101 of them. I don't want to be making more new Kemis. Uh, obviously the power up forms and everything, and we don't know how those will work yet, but I, I don't want them to be making a hundred new chemis 12, 13, 14, 16 episodes in. Um, it's just, it's just not what I'm excited for. And also seeing how the card aspect of this whole thing has been handled, uh, in terms of selling the product and the gimmicks and the stuff we have to buy. I, I'm not excited for that as well, but I, I bought the base driver. I bought a single pack to unbox on stream twitch.tv slash Achilles. Uh, but I, I, I think that's all I'm going to do. Uh, there's a couple parallel arts I want, but at looking right now on Bai, um, th those parallel arts are always are already like thirty dollars a piece. And I don't want to spend thirty dollars on a card that makes the same exact noise in the driver as the three dollar card I could buy. But I would say other than those things, I came in this episode expecting not a lot. Honestly, I had seen some things on Twitter, no spoilers, but people just kind of generally like feeling wary, like, oh, I kind of miss Geats. This isn't like what I expected from Gotchard. Um, and I, I don't get me wrong. I absolutely miss Geats, but I love that. It, I love that season. It's time is over and we're on to the new one now. And I think judging Gotchard on his own, this got me more excited than everything else. I wasn't as hyped seeing the the uh, the, the trailer, the, the press conference. None of that stuff made me super hyped. Watching the episode made me more excited for the series, which is great. I, that's what, exactly what a first episode is supposed to do. So I'm excited to see where we go, where Hodoro goes. Um, I, I, think I'm, I think I'm on board for this journey right now, and I'm excited to tell you guys five episodes later if, if I'm still excited and on board for this journey. Uh, I think it's got a lot of things going for it. The suit, the high school setting, I know a lot of people were excited for because it's very Forze-esque. Uh, you get to have that group of friends together all the time, that kind of stuff. And the teachers, the mentors, uh, just it's just a very natural setting to set a story because you have the base group that is always the base group. There's no reason for it changing very much unless like graduation. Um, and then you have those obvious set in mentors with the teachers and everything. So high school, I think is a great setting for a story, especially a common writer story. So I'm excited to see how they play with that. Um, they didn't, I don't think they said what year of high school they're in. So I'm excited to see if they do graduation in this series, because I think that was the best episode of Forze was the graduation episodes. But yeah, other than that, I'm, I'm super excited for Gotchard. I, I don't know what else to say. Tell me if you guys like the episode in the comment section down below. I'll be watching these every single week on twitch.tv slash Achilles. Toku Tuesday night, every Tuesday night at 7 p.m. Pacific time, and I will see you there.